gratitude in a box. I've got another bit of the conditioner, Tony. If there's 20 to 50 troops in a unit, we'll send about seven to 10 care packages. Oh, uh, are there any other care? We did, she did that one. Just like helping, I was like putting candy in or something. And I'm like, I just have box. It was super cool to, to think that like a soldier will be opening it. Opening roughly 600 care packages donated, collected, and organized by the volunteers with the Boots in the House Foundation. We are dedicated to supporting the emotional health and well-being of military service members and their families from all branches of the U.S. Armed Forces past, present, and future. Jamie says that the difference between Boots in the House and other foundations is that her volunteers have multiple types of themed packages that can be shared with entire units. For example, they have spa packages for women that have feminine hygiene products, shampoo, conditioner, even movies and books. So their emotional health and well-being, whether they need toothbrushes and toothpaste or if they need help because they're having some challenges with the way they're thinking and feeling, it's, it's all intertwined. Decorated with messages of hope and admiration. <laughs> um, so the reason why I say that is because whatever it is that you're doing out there in the world, how are you affecting other people? And these messages are especially helpful to those who may not have anybody else. I created the organization in December 2014. I started planning how it was going to work. Um, in the meantime, I had a Marine mom whose veteran had committed suicide. I was trying to think, well, how could I help her? In May, I was getting ready to launch it, and one of my other Marine mom uh, friends, her veteran, committed suicide. How can I help both? And so far, the foundation has done just that. I'm just encouraging because they're doing so much for us. When did we lose that? Why aren't we doing that anymore? So then when, when my sister found this organization, I was like, perfect. 600 boxes worth of will be making their way to U.S. troops this holiday season. Despite the huge turnout today, Jamie says that any volunteers and any form of help is always welcome. For more information, go to bootsinthehouse.com. In Tempe, Arizona, I'm Maddie Crouch for 330 News Reporting.